Hello lovely people, in this tutorial we are going to answer a question from one of our subscribers on YouTube and they ask what is the difference between saturation and vibrance in Photoshop and Lightroom? So that's what we're going to look at in this tutorial. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com and before we move on to this tutorial, I just want to tell you about our online courses over at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you how to control photography properly. So come and check us out over there. Right, we're going to talk about the difference between saturation and vibrance in Photoshop or Lightroom. Now, it basically breaks down to this. Saturation will saturate or intensify every single color across your picture. So every pixel in your picture, the color will be increased when you increase the saturation. Now with vibrance, it really cleverly picks up on only the muted or dull colors within your picture. So therefore, you can just boost up them dull colors in your picture and leave the colorful pixels, if you like, leave them ones alone. Okay, now I'm gonna show you that in an actual picture and we're gonna use Lightroom to do it. Let's go into Lightroom. So here we have the picture that we're going to use and it's a landscape picture that I took a little while ago. And this is the final version of that picture. And as you can see over here, under the basics section of Lightroom, you can see that I've adjusted the vibrance and the saturation. Here is the one with just the saturation. And here is the one with just the vibrance. So let's flick between the two so you can really see the difference. That's the saturation and that's the vibrance. Saturation vibrance and as you can see in the one that's got the saturation it's much more orange than the one where it's just the vibrance that's been added look at the sunset and the boy area because they've got a lot of color a lot of color that you can up the intensity in via saturation and what you can see is in the one that's just got the vibrance it doesn't affect the sunset as much or these kind of colorful areas like this boy here. So now let's go back to my final version and have a look at that. So here's my final version and over here you can see that I've took the saturation up slightly and the vibrance up to plus 54 which is quite high. And I did that to try and put some balance into the shot. Now my landscape shots, if you've watched my tutorials or you look at my work, you will know that I do over exaggerate, if you like, the, uh, the landscape, which is what I really like. And I like that style and that's what I do. So I've tried to put some balance here in that saturation of color between the sunset and the boy and the muted areas in the midsection of this scene. And that's why I've got a bit of saturation and quite a lot of vibrance to bring out their midsections, them muted colors. So we love answering your questions here at the School of Photography. So hopefully that's answered our subscribers question there. And if you've got any, please put them in the comments below. Also, if you wanna learn photography properly so you can control it and so that the knowledge stays in your head forever, come over to theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels as well and become part of our learning community. I hope that's answered any questions that you have on the difference between saturation and vibrance and I hope to see you soon. Remember, learn more at the School of Photography.